So hey there guys, Erin here again. Today I'm gonna to be talking about motivation and what motivated me during my whole weight loss process. I feel like this is a good little, you know, things to keep in mind, things that you can do in order to take yourself from being on a diet or just trying to lose weight to being an actual healthy person in the long run for the rest of your life. The first thing that I did is I created rituals. I don't have to remind myself anymore to do things like brush my teeth or wash my face, shower daily, to take care of my children, to check my social media accounts. All these things have become rituals and they are all aspects of my day and things that frequently happen without me really having to do much to think about them. So what I did is I took all the healthy habits that I wanted to have and I made them into rituals. So I made it part of my day. And I focused on things that were very attainable, making sure that I was drinking you know, several glasses of water each day, making sure that I was exercising or being active for at least 10 minutes or more each day, making sure that I was planning out my meals for the next day, the day ahead of time, so that way I had focus on what I was going to be eating and I didn't have that kind of like fear of oh what am I going to eat what am I going to do and that just helped to make it so that I stayed focused on my diet and I didn't you know fall off track ever. The next thing that kept me motivated is to bet on myself. We are all instinctively afraid to lose something so whatever that is that you can put up to bet, bet on yourself, bet on yourself with somebody that is going to hold you accountable, somebody that's going to see you day in and day out. Do not make the bet like I will lose five pounds this month otherwise I lose my bet. Don't make it something silly like that. Make it like I will be active every single day this month for at least 30 minutes or more. I will drink my eight glasses of water every single day. I will stick to my diet and track my macros every single day for the next 30 days. Whatever it is that you want to try to make a bet on that you know you can achieve, bet on yourself because you will be more again afraid to lose whatever is on that bet than what you are instinctively that you would gain or that we just don't know about you know you might not know what it feels like to be healthy so you might be less likely to kind of be motivated by that than you are by being motivated and losing a hundred dollars or whatever it is that you want to bet the next thing that helps you to create a more motivating healthy lifestyle is don't focus on you know multiple things at one time. Don't start day one and think, I have to have my diet in place. I have to be working out really hard. I have to drink tons and tons of water. I have to make sure that I'm sleeping really well. I have to get my stress in check and I have to eliminate crappy people from my life. You don't have to do all of that on day one. Focus on one thing, get really good at it, become the expert on that, and then grow. Grow on to the next thing. When you focus on one thing at one time, you're less likely to become distracted by everything else and feeling overwhelmed. When you feel overwhelmed, you become unmotivated and then you fall off the wagon to achieving your goals of being a healthier person. So focus on one goal at a time and preferably make it small goals. So if your goal is really tied to the scale, make it a goal of losing one pound a week. You know, make it small little goals that are actually achievable and realistic. Don't make it like, I need to do something in six months from now. Make it a goal within a short amount of time that you can actually achieve and make it a small micro goal. I did a video prior to the end of the year about micro goals. I will link that above here. It's got a lot of great different micro goals that you can focus on and actually feel like you're winning because when you have these small goals that you're constantly achieving, you're constantly feeling like you're winning. There's a reason why if you played a slot machine, it will kind of constantly have you winning just a little, just a little bit at a time, and that's to make you addicted to playing that game. So this is kind of the same concept uh, where you're constantly feeling like you're winning a little bit at a time that's gonna keep you motivated, but this is gonna be done in a less destructive or at least less financially destructive way because at the end you will have a healthier version of yourself who's more in control versus maybe somebody that lost you know 50 bucks on a slot machine. The next thing I'm gonna mention is that you should create a plan for going after that one thing and that one goal. Make sure that you have it focused within your mind so that way you're always seeing it. My personal favorite way to kind of write it out or make it visible to myself is to put your goal on the back part 
of your phone screen. So my goal for myself is to get to 20% body fat. That's my goal and that's what I'm constantly trying to achieve. So every single time I look at my phone and I turn it on, I see that 20% and it reminds me of what my goal is and that I'm working towards something. So it puts it in the front of my mind. So my next tip is to go to bed with a message to your subconscious. We have a lot of power in the time right before we fall asleep to kind of create a message and imprint on ourselves and kind of change our focus on what we're thinking about. So in that time before you're going to sleep, your subconscious is open to these messages. And so one thing that I've always done is tomorrow I'm gonna be healthier. And that's kind of the message I give my mind before I fall asleep. And that's just kind of the message that I go forward with in each day because it's tickled in the back of my subconscious. Whenever I go to kind of do something bad, it's like, oh yeah, I promised myself that today I'm gonna to be healthier than I was yesterday. And so that message is kind of always there. The last thing is to practice gratitude. The most successful people that you will find in the world are people that have an ability to give thanks for what it is they've already achieved or what it is they already have within their life. Be thankful of everything. Even if it's day one, be thankful of the fact that you've made a conscious choice within yourself to make a change to better your health and better your life. Be thankful for the fact that you did that and be thankful for the kind of steps that led you to that day one. And then as you go forward with everything that you achieve, be thankful for achieving all of those different goals because when you look back and you look at all those different goals that you've achieved, you will see a bigger picture than, you know, what is you know, on the scale or, you know, the fact that you don't feel like you've gotten to that magic number. Um, there really should be no magic number. I hit my magic number months ago. And I've been at the same weight now for over a month, but at the end of the day, I've lost half a body fat percentage by being focused on my goals and working towards them. So that is the number that drives me now. It's that body fat percentage. It's on here, I'm looking at it all the time in order to keep myself motivated. So be thankful for all that you've achieved. I've achieved that half body fat percentage. I did that, that is something I am thankful for. And if I just focused on the scale, I would be so defeated. I would feel like I was achieving nothing. But these little tips, these little tricks have made it so I have become a much more healthy, focused person. And they're the things that make it so that I'm going to continue to be a health focused person and focus on taking care of myself, making sure I'm eating the right things, taking care of my body, making sure that I'm doing all that I need to do to be the kind of healthiest version of myself going forward. So I hope you guys found these tips helpful and they help you out on your own journey. If you did find this video helpful, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.